Here we are writing the division in the proper form, namely variables first and constants later. So minus a plus 3 is the divisor. Our first term in the quotient is minus 2a squared. Hence, we get 2a cubed minus 6a squared. We get 6a squared plus 0. Second term in the quotient is minus 6a, which when multiplied with the divisor given 6a squared minus 18a. And now 18a plus 5 is the remainder and the last term in the quotient is 18. We get 18a minus 54. Here, minus 2a squared minus 6a minus 18 is the quotient. We can check the division algorithm, the result we got in this question. Example 3. Let us take the example 3. Here, we have an expression given and we have to find the unknown value k. So, let us write the expression. Then we start dividing by the factor x minus 3. We get 4x as the first term in the quotient. We get minus 3x plus k is the remainder. Now we get k minus 9 as the remainder. It is given that x minus 3 is a factor. That means x minus 3 divides the given expression without any remainder. So, remainder is 0. Hence, k minus 9 can be equated to 0, which gives us k is equal to 9. Now, we found out the value of k. Example 4. 